Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at the full release version of Interstellar Transport Company. We played this one a long time ago, back when it first hit Steam Early Access, uh, back in 2017. The idea here is we were going to be building a, well, Interstellar Transport Company. Building ships, uh, loading them up, and distributing them across the universe, uh, or the galaxy I suppose, and trying to make some cash. Us, along with a few other companies, uh, building facilities on the planets and, and transporting like water and, and goods and machinery and maybe getting warp engines and going into distant stars as well. So I thought we should take another look at this one. It's been a long time. I've been looking forward to seeing the full release of this one. It's been built, developed by MT Worlds. I'll have a link below if you want to check it out. But let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we can do. There is multiplayer in the game as well if you want to go against uh, other folks. I know the devs were playing against uh, some YouTubers, I think, back uh, a long time ago. Anyway, um, we can go with a, uh, a predefined game, which gives us a setup system. For instance, the um, the soul system. Uh, on this one, we have a certain amount of companies and amount of stars in the game. Um, we can also go to something like Trappist and, and HD 10180 if we want to go to uh, a little bit more, I guess, uh, setup system with Earth and Mars and all that if we want to go to soul. Or we can go to a custom game and set up all that stuff on our own and go to just some random spot in space. I want to try out uh, Earth, though, so let's go with a predefined, we'll just go normal difficulty here in Seoul. We've got three companies, there's 20 stars in the game, and we got some cash. That's solely responsible. That's Seoul also. There's no companies. Oh, it's just me. Interesting. Uh, okay, so I will be, um, will be the, uh, the yellow guys. Yeah, my name is going to be, of course, what other kind of company would it be? And off to space we go. So we're at the year is 2050. And really, there's no other people out there in, in space. There might be a few people living on the moon, but that's it. No one else is out there. But as time goes on, we will learn to develop, to develop warp engines, which gives us into multiple stars. Uh, the other companies will be also distributing goods amongst the stars or any other planets out there. We are here in Sol. There's other systems out here like uh, Alcade. Is that how you say that one? Uh, Pro Procyon? Proci Procyon? Rana? Fu I'm sorry, I don't know how to say any of these. Uh, so we're over here in Sol. Here's our system, our star. There's Mercury over there, there's Venus. No one's colonized, no one lives over there. Uh, we have Earth right here, and we all have Luna, our moon next to us. Uh, we can see Mars is over this way as well. Oh, there is people living on Mars. 500,000 people living on Mars already. You're just 2050. Ambitious. Uh, so there are some folks on uh, Luna. There's actually 8 million people on Luna and then 9 billion here on Earth. So what's going to happen is we are first off going to start by purchasing uh, a gate in Earth. So we've got a spot that we can dock our ships on Earth. We're also going to go over here to the moon and do the same thing. We're going to start off with a, uh, a moon and an Earth spot uh, system. So the way we look at these planets here, we can see they all have different resources and uh, lots of numbers going on over here. But basically all you need to worry about here is we own one gate. Uh, they are supplying food, water, and consumer goods. Also, it looks like a bit of tourists and business folks. Uh, they want rare resources and luxuries on this planet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some things that we are supplying over here and send them to the demanding spot over here. We know how these kind of games work. Here we go. Luna wants food and water. And they are pr providing rare resources. Well, look at that. Let's build ourselves a ship. First, we're going to get our route going. Set up a new route here going from uh, Earth over here to Luna. And I'm going to build ourselves a ship. We, we don't have a lot of ships yet. As time goes on, we'll get new ones, of course, available. Like, for instance, warp-capable ones. We're going to build ourselves the Doing 909, which has, what, 20 spots on it. Those spots we can fill with things like dry, climate-controlled cargo bays, which would be food, rare resources, refugees. Uh, we got machinery. This one is uh, is raw materials and dilithium. There's water down here. I'm going to make a... Um, I'm going to go with, like... Maybe we should just go half and half. Half food, half water. Delivering from Earth to the moon. Basically, we're just going to the moon to make money from that. Because there's not, there's not going to be any food and water coming from the moon, obviously. So... Going the Earth Luna direct from he's going to be delivered to Earth. Let's order that ship. Okay, we spent thirty three grand on this guy for him to go and do that. We could also build. I don't have a lot of actually. I do have a lot of cash in this one. Um, we could do another ship that just delivers rare resources. Actually, he'll carry that anyways because of this one, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's just make two of those ships. Let's unpause here. So it's going to take a little while for them to build that ship and get it sent to us. Little satellites buzzing around. That's kind of cool. 
Um, and then they will give us the ability, that's a lot of stars, to, uh, a lot of uh, light pollution, to go to Luna. As soon as it gets built, we'll see him pop out and uh, make his grand entrance. Uh, we can go see our ships over here, though, and say, let's say we want two of these. We're going to call this one. This is, uh, this is, uh, wrong button. There we go. Um, this is Luna 1. Okay. There we go. And we'll make another one. Let's duplicate it. Yeah, and this is going to be called, um, very creative today, L Luba, Luna 2. Okay. So now, um, oops, we should be starting getting some ships cranked out here eventually. What is it? Are these like star bases out here? It is just like a, it is a star base. It's just random, or UFOs, one or the other. What happened in 2050? So one thing we can also do on this planet, I'm sorry, I'm bad with my mouse here. Uh, we can also upgrade buildings on our planet to give us things like um, the ability to create um, a medicine or weapons or uh, maybe a I think we still have um, a, lot of this, a lot of my knowledge is old but I think we can do uh, like like taxi systems which will help us load and unload faster. Uh, offices gives us reputation. Uh, you can sort of finagle that part of the market to get uh, this planet to like us more so than you know they, uh, they deal with us rather than everyone else. There's Luna 1 dropping off some goods, made us a little bit of cash, and um, about to head head back. I'm sorry, I missed it. I was hoping to grab you while you're in route, but we'll see here in just a second as you head back there. That's, is that him? No, that's someone else. Here come some other folks coming in. So the competitors have arrived, and they're doing their thing now. Is that me? Yeah, there's Luna 1. I can't see the yellow on him. But there's Luna 1. He has, uh, he does have 10 uh, goods of, of rare resources heading back to Earth. No water, of course. But there he goes. He's going to make me a bit of cash as soon as he, he lands. There's no gate available because the other ship is already there landed. We need two gates for them to both be able to. So he's going to spin around here for a little bit. And there goes Luna 2, carrying food and water to all those whalers on the moon. There we go, 2600 bucks. Excellent. Cash is rolling in. Let's crank this thing up. So the cool thing about this, one thing that I really like about this uh, game, as the, the, sort of the way the the um, the system and the, and the galaxy progresses... Uh, it sort of grows. Because in time, eventually you'll get things, you'll see some colony ships just sort of getting sent out. There we go. Is that There's a rocket right now, a Sparrow rocket from Blue Origination, strange that their colors are red, uh, which just has water on it heading over here to Mars. Because Mars wants water. If you give them water, if you, if you meet their, their demands, then they will start gaining population, which gives them more development. More development means more people and more resources being produced, uh, which will make this a nice looking planet. Eventually. I guess you change the name of Mars if you want. Um, eventually, we want to get to the point where, I was also mentioning, the the, the AI, just the, the civilians, will start building colony ships and sending them out to various places. So we may, you know, Venus may get colonized eventually and all that. Uh, you can also see some of them have, like, Venus has a lot of rare resources, so that would be actually a good one to colonize um, and try to uh, uh, grab those rare resources to make some cash. So everyone's on this uh, this bandwagon of sending uh, some water to the to Mars. Uh, I would like to be on that bandwagon. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a route. New stop going from uh, the old Earth to uh, to Mars. Um, oh, I need a gate. Right, right, right. Oops. Um, can't, okay, okay. Hang on, cancel that route. I got to build a gate over here on Mars before I do that. So I need to in on this action. Can I get that? Yeah, there is an open spot for me, so I'm going to buy that gate. It's going to cost me how much? Uh, Lease this gate for 52.74. Oh, that's cheap. Okay, so there we go. So we now have a gate on this planet, which means we can now do the rocket thing. So let's do the the, the route from. Um, uh, did I do that wrong? I'll move that stuff. There we go. I need a I need a new route. I think I did that wrong. New route going from Earth to uh, to Mars. There we go. Okay, so um, right, that one's correct, and that one's yeah, yeah. Um, so we can make ourselves a new ship. I'm just going to build some Sparrow rockets. One time use. You launch the rocket and it's done for. It doesn't need any food. It's already loaded up a little bit. Uh, let's do water. So just water going to Mars. Okay. Launch it immediately. So as soon as it gets done, away it goes. Uh, we're actually going to make a few of those. So let's go in here and purchase. Uh, I think we can go here. And just duplicate those guys. Subsidy of something. Where'd that go? Where's my subsidies? Here it is. So we've got 
17.7 per unit being offered for water delivered to Luna. So, so to Luna. So Luna, the moon wants water. Uh, we can capitalize on that. There's all kinds of things over here to look at. I haven't really messed with this too much, but there's uh, like population numbers that we're looking at there. Um, habitability, all kinds of stuff we can see here. Um, let's see. Let me buy a couple of rockets real quick. We need a gate to make things. We may have to, may have to purchase another gate real quick, but we're gonna buy like two more of those. I'm gonna buy. Um, Let's just find out one of these guys. Is, it, is that you? Earth, Luna, Direct. Do I have... What are you? Yeah, okay, so I've got... Oh, did I... Did I um, Luna, Luna. Okay, yeah. So we've got a... Um, two more of those ships being made, and then three of the rockets. Okay. So away they go. It's going to cost money, but basically what they're doing is trying to... What we are doing is trying to get Mars up and running so we can start using it. Someone has just upgraded the gate there. Upgraded the spaceport at this one, which allows it to hold like better ships, gives it more gates, and all that. Uh, let's see here, that old Earth here. Greg guys bought themselves some gates. I'm going to go ahead and buy a gate. Seems like a th like, like the thing to do. What was that? Oh, hang on, hang on. What was that? 10.52 per unit offered for colonists delivered to Luna. People want to live on the Mar, uh, on the moon, eh? Hey, eh? Is there some? There's a few of those want to go out. How can I tell where they want to go? It used to be I could tell. I don't know where to see that now. I'm not entirely sure. Um, start a research station as well. Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, thank you, tutorial. Um, yeah, I mean, we can do that. Let's go and... Um, new ship. This is going to be... We could just do... We'll do, we'll do people. I want uh, none of that. I want just... Just passengers. Any kind of passenger seating. Just a passenger. We'll, we'll throw some water on there, or some some food and, and uh, rare resources as well. But it's gonna go. Just go Earth Luna. That's all you're gonna do. Just haul people around. Hopefully, we'll get that ship ordered. Hopefully, at some point, and then we can uh, make some uh, big money from that. Uh, uh, from the uh, the the um, priority mission we have here. This is gonna be the uh, Luna Luna people. We go on or launch it as soon as it gets done. Launch it. Okay. Uh, so while we're here, though, we can go and say um, we can see all the resources. We have tons of resources in here. We can start getting like some some um, medical factories, some machinery was the thing we can use once we start getting. I think it's rare resources or maybe it's just resources just in general. We can get done and that'll help um, move that along. There's a lot of new things in here that I actually haven't seen quite yet with like um, drones. Uh, the research station I haven't messed with yet either. Let's do it. So we got a research station going in, which is giving us some research, which I think what's going to do is give us um, the ability to make new ships eventually. Um, let's take a look at American Space Lines. It's built a small office on Luna. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's look at our graphs here. So right now we are um, not as negative as everyone else. That's always a good sign, I suppose. Uh, we can see income, not good. Expenses, lot. Mm. Monthly profits, not a negative. <laughs> so, we're, uh... In research point. Whoa! We're way behind. Okay. Uh, I'm too busy yammering. Um, here's research. Oh, oh, this is all new. In order to advance your corporation technology, you must be more efficient. You must research the different technologies from this window. Oh, there's... Oh, we do we do tech now. Okay, it used to be they just sort of popped up. Interesting. 3% speed increase to all intrasystem flight. New colony has been started on Mercury. Oh, oh, a uh, funded by the Earth government, so a colony ship has just went off to uh, to Mercury. I would like a better ship would be nice. How much? I have 130. I want, yeah, give me that bigger ship. No, I know better. I mean, that seems like that's the way to go. What? Do I not have enough? Am I reading that wrong? 900. Oh, 900. Oh, right, right. There's a there's a one missing. Okay, so then there's a colony now. Hang on, let me pause this. Over on Venus, right? Oh, and is that Mercury? On Mercury. There's 100,000 people living there. Almost 200,000 people living there. There's another colony ship. Where's that going? Can I see this? Can I zoom in on this? There he is. Colony ship. On his way to where? On his way to Ganymede. Ganymede's right over here, right? Yeah. That's a good one. Because what Ganymede has water. Raw materials. Uh, no rare resources here. But it has raw materials and some habitability. You know what? No 
no gate available for it to land. It does, there is a gate available, but it's just busy. Um, yeah, you know what? That's a long way to go for uh, such slow ships. But we could, like, go for that. Let's see, if we want to go to Mercury here. Mercury got a lot more raw materials. No water. Bit of machinery. They do want food and water. They have plenty of consumer goods. Uh, yeah, let's buy, um... We have to upgrade the spaceport for how much? Um, oh, I can't because I don't have the research project spaceport subsidization. So I can't even do that one. Mars, how you doing? I do have a gate over here. They still want water. They're providing a little bit of consumer goods. We could do a ship and then haul those goods back. There's machinery here. Oh, you want machinery. Yeah, machinery's always a thing, isn't it? Let's see how we doing over here. Still plenty of supply. I think we need to start cranking out some ships. Let's make... Um, let's go with... Oh wait, is there a way to just clear in everything? Uh, with that, let's just start cranking this out. Um, Earth Luna, yeah. Order it up. We're going to do two of these. Three of these. Lots of money, but it'll come in handy. We only got 14 grand now, but we're going to make sure we get a lot of things going to the Earth and Luna because they want... Hopefully they still want food. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. They don't want as much food as I was hoping they'd want it. Development is only at 14%, so as long as we take care of their demand, that will go better. Which will make them demand more, obviously. More people, more demanding. Um, maybe we have two people that want to go to Earth. Well, we'll handle that, because we got that one ship that does that. Any more colonizers going out? I missed the one with Ganymede. Did it go? Is it here? Uh, yeah, a new colony has arrived on Ganymede, funded by the Earth government. So now, Ganymede, we can see, has a demand... Barely developing. People are growing or dying? People are growing, so that's something. Uh, and they want water and food. So let's send some rockets over there. Do I have the money for that? Send up a new route. I would like a new route going from... Let's see. Earth to uh, oh, Ganymede over here. Right there. And we're going to go rocket this thing. Okay. Um, we're going to rocket... It's going to be all water, I think. Earth Ganymede. All right, order that ship. Ten of them. Ten of them. It can get pretty hairy. I remember this from last time. It gets really hairy uh, with all the ships. That's why you kind of keep them named well, which I haven't been doing. Um, we got a lot of Earth Luna, and then everything else is just rockets heading off to Ganymede. Gate on Earth for Luna to land. Uh, yeah, we probably do need another gate over here. Everyone's just sort of doing a little dance over here waiting for the gates to open. Uh, let's buy that gate there. How much? 39? I don't have the money for that. Uh, how about another gate on Luna, though? It might be cheaper. Slow down, planet. I can't catch up with you. Uh, let's see here. That one for 7. I can afford that. Okay, that might help things a little bit. Speed us along a little bit. So we got uh, Mercury's going, going good. Uh, there's Mars over that way. And there's all... Oh, we have joined the pack for Ganymede. Is everyone here hauling water? What do you guys have? Yeah, everyone, I think, has... Oh, you have food. You can see in the in the bubbles there. So this one, Spar 77, has five food. It's tiny, but you can see it in there. Um, where's the water? What are you carrying? You're carrying machinery. Machinery? And you've got water. Okay. A little bit of everything going over there. Once this stuff lands, it's going to cost us, but it sh it, it'll help it grow. Which help it grow. Now, eventually, what you want to do, if this is similar to last time, which I believe it is. Uh, there's a lot more resources as before, but you can see uh, dilithium crystals is a big one. This, there's actually is some here on, where am I at? On Europa. So if you want to start getting, you know, warp speed and all that, you got to get dilithium. So you got to eventually make your way out there to the sort of the edge of the solar system. And then you can start going off into space into all the systems that I cannot pronounce. Like Stanvalek. Stankavek. That's where the Klingons live. Is that a real system? I've never heard of that one. I've heard of, I've heard of a few of these. I just don't know how to say them. Hmm. And there... So the way it worked before 
was you it just randomly hit it. I, like, I think it was like year 21-something, then Warp Drive was invented. But I guess now it has changed to where research is the thing. So let's go take a look. So there's so spaceport subsidies where you can, you can upgrade spaceports this way. There's large shuttles. We can start getting uh, all the new ships and rockets we can eventually make. Uh, let's see here. More rockets over there. Can subsidize colonies. It allows you to subsidize your own colonies and systems that already have a sufficiently... So I guess you could say if you've built a colony... But you want uh, uh, water to deliver there. You can uh, offer money for the other opponents to go deliver there to help you build your colony up. Distribution, distribution drones can now land on a planet surface without receiving without a receiving center. Hmm. They're subsidizing colonies. That's where you can just make a colony. More ships out there. I don't see warp drive, so maybe that's something that just sort of happens at a certain point. A lot of green folks heading out this way. So we had 180 before. Now we got 330,000 people here on Ganymede. Developments up to up to uh, 83 uh, thousandths of a, of a percent. They want they desperately want machinery over here. We can probably do that if I pause it. Let me make some rockets that just hold machinery. Hopefully we can get there fast enough. Machinery is this one. There should be machinery in. There's machinery. There's machinery in Earth. Should be some in Earth. I hope there's some in Earth. Earth, Ganymede, machinery. Order up. Let me make let me take sure uh, make sure before we go do this, a lot of these. You have a lot of machinery, right? Uh, machinery, machinery is this one. You're making some, but you don't have any right now. It's all getting hauled out. You're making 32. There's one there right now. 32 each tick or whatever. Water delivered to Mars, eh? I saw that. Money for water on Mars. Okay. Well, we know Earth has water. Earth has a lot of water. Let's go do that again. With uh, We already have a Mars one set up, right? Yeah. So you're going to go to Mars. This one will be more effective because we're going to go that way. And we're going to order a bunch of these. I'm not sure how much money we're going to get out of this, but we're going to try and make some. That's what. That's my. Uh, that's my machinery, which has no machinery because I didn't tell it to wait to get full. I sent it just. I just sent it out. And you guys all have water. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's my. My. That's tell me it has a uh, priority thing. Fourteen hundred bucks each time. How much am I making? How much these ships cost me? So I'm making like five hundred bucks. Not even five hundred bucks. Oh yeah, five hundred bucks. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Nickel and diamond our way into the interstellar transport company business. <laughs> That's the computer upgrading the spaceport. Sometimes I guess the uh, the computer does it. Um, nobody's there. Anybody uh, got a little bigger? How big is... I guess you're orange, which means you've got... Yeah, 16 million. You've doubled in size since we started. Okay. Looking all right. Yeah. We can see resources this way, too, if we want to see things. There's dilithium, which is not a nice button to have because... It's a very important resource later on. I mean, you have none. Yeah, it means none. Red means you have some, but not accessible, I guess. You need to build some sort of refinery to get it. Anyway, this is Interstellar Transport Company. It's available today uh, on Steam. I'll put a link below if you want to check this thing out. Uh, I do have resources. Let me go do that. get that before we call it here. I would like to build a new ship. There we go. Research done. New ship design. Excellent. So we can go see over here. We make a new ship now. We have a few new things. We got uh, a space bus D500. We also have the uh, the Doing D919, uh, which is giant, which could be great to run between a couple systems. That's the oldie. That's the biggie. And you, there's also, of course, more to these things. You can see that these all have, you know, uh, maintenance and reliability. How long they get shut down? How long they have fuel? So if you want to send them out to the edge of the galaxy or the edge of the system, can they? Uh, how far can they make it? How big of a spaceport it has that they can handle landing on? It's only on a five, so we could send it to like Ganymede right now because it's only a four. What to Luna? Uh, oh, calling a subsidy. Luna has ended finally. Uh, are we doing any better? Before we end this here, overall profit not good. Income, well, we're getting a little better. Expenses, oh, we're not spending much. Yeah, there we go. Monthly profits, there we go. We're in the most. Twenty-five grand per month. 
Net worth, terrible. Cash in hand, hmm. My research points. Oh, yeah, now we're doing good. Hey. And then we can see... What else do we can see here? Finances window. Okay. Uh, my ledger, yeah. You can see all kinds of things. Loans. When you set up your custom game, you can set up how much loans you begin with, or if you just begin with cash on hand. Um, let's see. Oh, I do have a loan, don't I? Uh, can we pay that back? Can we pay that? There we go. I'm dead free. We can see our, um, all my routes I've made. Quite a bit of cash, looks like. Uh, I can also see in here in the routes how much we've made from each one. So Earth again, I mean, I've lost money, but it really wasn't a money-making deal. It was a, it was a colony-building deal. Uh, we made 300 grand from the Earth to the Moon, and 13 grand to Mars, which I guess was from all that water we sent out there. Yeah, 10 grand just from that last year's thing. All right, well, we're gonna call it a day here. Thanks again for watching, and colonists are going to Callisto. That's a high note to end this one on. I'll see you next time.